When I hear DACA, I think early college. That's the part that sticks out in my mind because it's just like pre-college. It prepares you for college. The, the advisors, the administrators, the administration, the staff have tapped into these hidden talents for these kids, and it's and it's incredible. These kids probably never knew how great a potential, you know, the the just something as simple as the OGT may have been uh, uh, something way out of reach for a lot of them. When probably about 99% of them have passed, and that's a wonderful thing. Because I know that the teachers here, they're genuinely, you know, we, they genuinely care about a student's success, and I've seen that over and over again. And if they're putting themselves out like that for you, and you're not reciprocating the same commitment to your education, which is really what it's all about, the teachers already have their education, then you don't deserve to be here. This is a great experience, and you're just holding a spot for somebody else who could be just as dedicated or more than you are. DECA is a wonderful program. Now, on, quite honestly, I'll say it's not for every student, but the opportunities, um, the, uh, the unknowns are there for any situation that you probably put your child in. Um, I, would, I would definitely recommend DECA for, for most students, just for the opportunities. Coming into the DECA program, you'll see yourself start to change as a person. And I, I believe that a person's character is kind of the reflection of their environment. So if you hang around people, and if you uh, have teachers and your parents and other students start to want you to go to college, and they see you as a person who has what it takes to be a successful college student, that yeah, you'll start to become that person who has a mindset that I want to go to college. From, from what I, I kind of hear, a lot of the kids that, that come here, they like the structure, but then there's college in the back of their mind that they know that they can achieve if they do come to DECA. There's always, it's, it's, that's the first thing that you hear about is, is college. You come to DECA, you go to college. I don't know, it's kind of like peanut butter and jelly, they go together. I think when you go to college, you need to have some confidence because if you don't, you'll walk into those classes and just mentally be defeated. And I thank DECA a lot for doing that. Also, if I had to give advice to a prospective student, without a doubt, I'd say come here because you want to. And if you come here, give it your all because that's all DECA can ever ask for. Here's the deal. You want to go to college, then you've got to work. DECA presents itself as a school that is willing to work with the parent and the child in order to get them to go on to the next level. So is it for everyone? Well, if you're not willing to work, if you're not a serious student, then perhaps it's not for you. Uh, another thing that I've noticed over these four years is the type of students that are here versus your traditional high schools. There's a, a whole different class of kids. Uh, these kids are, call, also come from all different types of backgrounds and environments, but these are kids that deep down want to achieve. They want to be you know, great people later on in life, and you don't have a lot of the uh, uh, normal distractions that you would at a traditional high school setting. So DECA will change you as a person coming in. That's if you want to be changed. If you're the person who you not necessarily has the talent coming into the program, but has the will to succeed, you can come out of DECA a far greater person than you came in. As far as a parent, I feel comfortable having my children here because I know that they're gonna make sure that they do the things that they're supposed to do. And then the kids are responsible. And I think the core, like the kids, they work together. They want their friends to succeed as well as they succeed. So it's not a, a matter, there's a friendly competition but they want each other to strive for the best. You cannot expect a student to do well if you don't set the bar high enough for them to accomplish it. Give your child the opportunity to be successful. Raise the bar. That's what DECA does. They raise the bar. At home, you have certain standards and certain expectations. And if at home you do this and at the school level they do that, then of course, your child knows what's expected and they will do it. They will do it. 
I thank my mom every day. Yeah, she made me come here. And I dislike that decision, but look what it did for me in the end. Is it good that she pushed me to do something I didn't want to do? For the outcome of something much greater than I could imagine myself? Yes. The reason why I say DECA has a family atmosphere because the teachers here, not only through the teachers, but the administration and most of the students, they really care about each other. Here, they recognize you for your excellence. Like, here, it's okay to be smart. It's okay to achieve. Academically, I feel that DECA has prepared me because I sit in class with students who went to schools like Oakwood, Centerville, Chaminade Julianne, and I can sit there and compete with them with no problem. I was fortunate enough to actually want the experience of the DECA community and everything that it has to offer. And as a result, I've just accumulated success beyond measure. I, I never thought that I could graduate with my associate's degree. I never even could fathom that. At DECA with the classes at Sinclair, I had an opportunity to participate in a college setting, in a college classroom, and be successful. And then in my first semester, I was able to get a 3.92 GPA. They expect more than, from you than you expect from yourself. I learned that. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, because I mean, they make you believe in yourself. They made me believe in myself because I would have never ever thought that I had the opportunities, opportunities that I have now. I would have never thought I would be where I am today, ever.